In this video, we're going to take a look at solving the equation 2x to the 4th plus x squared equals 6. As usual, when we're solving equations that have variables with exponents, we like the equation to equal 0. So I'm going to start by subtracting 6 from both sides, giving us 2x to the 4th plus x squared minus 6 equals 0. Normally, we like to factor from this point, but the factoring might be a little tricky with those higher exponents, like 4th power and 2nd power. But what we'll notice is that one exponent is double the other. And whenever we have that situation where one exponent is double another, we can introduce a new variable that, when we square it, gives us that doubled or other variable. That new variable is always going to come from the center, the x squared. And so when we square y, we also square x squared, giving us x to the fourth. And that can be substituted for the other part. We now have 2 times x to the fourth, which can be rewritten as y squared, plus x squared, which we can write as y, minus 6 equals 0. And that gives us a quadratic we can solve by factoring. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, adding to 1. It's going to be 4 and 3 if the 3 is negative. And so we can set up our factors. To get 2y squared, it must be 2y times y. On the outside, 2y times something is going to be negative 4. I'm sorry, positive 4. So 2y times positive 2. And on the inside, y times something is negative 3. And that factors the problem for us. And then, and I'm rushing through the factoring. If you want to review factoring in detail, you can go back and watch some of the factoring videos that I've made. But from here, what we can do is set each of these factors equal to 0. 2y minus 3 equals 0, and y plus 2 equals 0. And we can quickly solve these for y, adding 3 to get 2y equals 3, and then dividing by 2 to get y equals 3 halves, subtracting 2 from the other equation to give us y equals negative 2. Now, we're not done yet, because this just tells us what y is equal to, and the question's really asking us, what is the x equal to? So let me buy me some space. We've got this equation up here that we made up that y is equal to x squared. So let's replace these y's with x squared. So instead of y equals 3 halves, we'll say x squared equals 3 halves. And instead of y equals negative 2, we'll say x squared equals negative 2, and solve both of these equations for x. The first one, we can get x alone by taking the square root. The problem is that 2 in the denominator, oh, it's under a square root also. We don't like that. So what we'll need to do is rationalize that denominator. Recall, we can do that by multiplying by root 2, numerator and denominator. And when we take the square root of both sides, we need plus or minus. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6, over root 2 times root 2 is root 4, or just 2. Two possible answers are x is equal to positive root 6 over 2 and negative root 6 over 2. On the right side here, this other equation, x squared equals negative 2, when we take the square root there, Remember, the negative under the square root is going to come out as an i. Again, we also need the plus or minus. Our solutions, other two solutions, are x equals plus or minus i root 2. And these are the solutions to the equation we started with, 2x to the 4th plus x squared equals 6. We found those solutions by making up a new variable that we could substitute to give us quadratic in form. That equation we could solve by factoring, and then substitute back to give us the x. Solving for x, we remembered our radical properties to rationalize denominators, and the square root of a negative is i, and we also need plus or minus when we clear an even exponent.